Good morning. So yesterday was my first day as an intern for the company. And it was a pretty good day. It was really cool to meet the team and to get to know a little bit more about the business and to like start interning. Right now I need to be there at 9.30 and it's about half an hour to get there. And it's 8.30 so I have half an hour left to have breakfast, get dressed, do my makeup. And I think that's about it. So that's good. And I think after I'm done, because I usually like get done around five-ish, I think I'm just gonna go to lower Manhattan and get some pizza. I, I've been craving pizza. Actually, I wanted to get pizza yesterday, but I forced myself to cook. But today I think I'm just gonna get some pizza, uh, or maybe first walk around the lower Manhattan and then get some pizza. And I kind of want to like visit one of the piers in lower Manhattan, the beer park. I forgot what it was called. So I think I'm gonna do that tonight and then get back here catch up on YouTube and I still have to edit this video for my committee that needs to be edited before the 1st of August so I might start that tonight as well but first I'm gonna get breakfast and get ready before I'm late again as I usually am so I just got back from this Facebook networking event and that was pretty cool they talked about like startups and uh, how you market startups and um, just like startup apps and everything, so that was pretty cool. And now I'm in some park in Brooklyn Heights, and I'm just gonna eat. I got a bagel and a, a donut, so I already got like a slice of pizza um, a few hours ago. But at Joe's Pizza, I wanted to try it out because I heard a pretty good things of it, and it turned out it was pretty delicious as well. But now I just gotta eat something, maybe walk around this park a little more, and then go back and do some editing. So I just got attacked by mosquitoes. <laughs> There's about like three or four of my legs alone, and I'm wearing I'm wearing li literally long jeans, like yeah, except for this part. And there's one. There's one. I feel like there's another one over here. Oh, and there's one on my elbow as well. Ah, oh, great. When I was uh, riding the metro back to Brooklyn Heights, I was kind of thinking about how, like a few years back, I was a huge fan of Glee, like five or six years ago. And I think it was the end of season three, they went to New York for the nationals or something like that. And they did this song on the red steps in Times Square and they kind of showed around Times Square and around New York, you know, and I remember <laughs> this moment so well because at that moment I was like 14 years old, so that's I think about five years ago. I it was my dream at that moment, it was my dream to be able to go to New York. Like, it's so crazy to kind of think about. Like, five years ago, I was dreaming about being in this place, and I and I kind of like uh, in my in the back of my head I was like you know one day I'm going to make it I'm going to make it to New York somehow but I never thought like I'd be staying there for five weeks and I kind of the point that I kind of want to make is that dreams do come true if you think about it I mean as a, as a kid I dreamt of going to New York even if it was just for a few days and that dream kind of already came true last year when we traveled here but living in New York for like five weeks, that's that's a whole other level. And it just kind of blows my mind that all the hard work that I've put in over the past few years to graduate from high school, to get my proper Judaic diploma, which you get in Holland after you finish your first year and get all 60 credits in one year. With all the hard work that I put into that, I, I was able to like do this. And it's, it's been an amazing opportunity and I, I feel so kind of like blessed to be able to like say that as a 14 year old kid I was dreaming of being here, of even spending 
a few days here or a single day and now I'm living here for five weeks it just kind of blows my mind so don't ever I just want to say don't ever give up on your dreams What's up? I hope you're having a good day. Mine was pretty good. I just got back from work. It was a nice day. Just did some like comparative analysis stuff and it was a good day. And right now I'm about to Skype with my parents. So I need to get my stuff out. It's currently 5.30 over here, but my parents are in Holland. So they're six hours in advance. So it's almost midnight over there. Oh. Ew. But I'm gonna quickly set my Skype up and everything. And afterwards, I don't even know what I'm gonna eat for dinner. I think I'm just gonna prepare some chicken, but then I need to get the chicken out of the freezer. I'm planning to go and get some, I've been craving, like I love frozen yogurt, but they don't have it in that many places in Holland. So I'm taking full advantage of the fact that I'm in New York right now. So I'm planning to get some uh, frozen yogurt after dinner and then just watch the sunset uh, at the Brooklyn Promenade, whatever. I, I keep calling it the Brooklyn Promenade. I don't even know if that's what it's called. I'm just preparing some chicken right now. I don't know if you can hear me between the air conditioning, the fan, the stuff. That's what it's called. I need to expand my English vocabulary. <laughs> But I'm just preparing some chicken right now and then I'm gonna go to Atlantic Avenue I think is what the street is called where there's a, a pretty good, apparently a pretty good frozen yogurt shop. Staring at those city lights Had some ugly days to get some pretty nights The skyline here is just beautiful I'm kind of an idiot because I didn't have enough storage on my SD card to shoot the time lapse of the sun going down So I'm definitely gonna come back but probably down to one of those Well not that one because there is construction but over there where the blue umbrella things are there's so many people over here walking just sitting down and enjoying the sunset and it's it's really really beautiful like the manhattan bridge and the brooklyn bridge both look amazing so i think right now i'm just gonna go and walk back towards my apartment and then edit this vlog catch up on some youtube as well you know this stuff actually really worked i didn't get attacked by mosquitoes so <laughs> that's good if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos more myc vlogs then please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on friday i just met a really really cool guy on the subway that helped me to get to fulton street